welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I do a round brush floral design on this clear glass whiskey bottle. I will be using 3A Magic paint brushes, they're round brushes, a number 12, a number 8, and a number 2. I am also going to be using a fine liner by Westonia. I need to get a new one, my brush looks pretty haggard. A number 8 Deerfoot Stippler. Love these for making dots. And then I'm also going to use a couple tools for dots. One is just a regular dotting stylus, and this is actually a clay ball maker, but it makes good larger dots. Paint I'm using today is all folk art paint, combination of multi surface and enamel. I'm using Thicket, Burnt Sienna. Wicker White, Forest Moss, Tea Berry, which I absolutely love, and Pale Yellow. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use the larger brush, which is the number uh, 12. I'm going to put it into the Tea Berry and just get it covered with paint. And then all I need to do is stick the tip into the wicker white and start doing my, my floral design. Alright, now this bottle does have a little mark here, so I'm just going to maybe do a few little buds up around it just to get started. Now I always do my designs on paper. And I like to try to mention this because sometimes I have to alter the design that I intended to create because I need I didn't I don't have as much room on my surface basically okay so I'm just putting my brush down and pulling it and I'm going to do it again because it looks like when I did that demo pulled some of the paint up I have cleaned off the bottles washed them with soap and water I have then wipe them off with rubbing alcohol and then they're ready to go. Alright, so with this process I'm just pushing the brush down and kind of just pulling it and bring it up. And I'm going to do it again over here, pushing it down, pulling it and bring it up. I want some more white on here so I'm going to just go ahead and do it here, just carefully pulling it up. Come around, do the same thing, pull it up towards the center, and continue on here, pushing it down, pulling it up. Just a cute little flower. Again, nothing that's uh, really difficult. You know, I do try to encourage you to be creative. That's the whole point of my channel, is to encourage that even if you feel like you're somebody that's not creative I think really if you sit down and just give it a try and you aren't too hard on yourself you'll be fine alright so we're just going to keep doing this make a few initially I think I made did I make six flowers and then six buds. That's just very easy. If you have any questions while you're watching this, please put those questions down below. Any comments? Love to hear from you. If you are new to my channel, make sure you give me a big thumbs up after you watch this video if you like it. And also make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell after you've hit the subscribe button, and then share this video if you would on all your social networks with your family and friends. Okay, again just pushing it down, pulling it up, pushing it down, pulling it up. 
And one of the main things to try to do when you're doing painting on glass is just to make sure you get an opaque looking design so that it's going to have good quality endurance and will last longer if you have good coverage. It's going to be more durable. And these are just simply you push down and you pull up. You push down and you pull up. If you want more color to it or you want to add more white or you feel like the coverage isn't good, just go over it and try it again. I just want to make sure because I'm feeling like it's lifting up a little bit over here. So I want to, so I keep going over it here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I have a dog that keeps bothering me. So anyways, load in this brush just like I did the others. And... I'm going to start putting in my little stems and this is just going to be a short one because they're right up against it and then I'm going to come up here do the same thing and I can make it like they're going into one however have it works for your design here you can even put it in here. And you don't have to have it coming down like you've got a, a big stem for this, like we do in a lot of the other ones I've painted. You can just look like they're connected together as a bunch. I am going to go over them a little bit here because I want to make sure that they're very durable. That's the, the main thing. If I've got good paint coverage, it's going to last longer. I cannot stress that enough. All right. And you could put more blooms on here. You don't have to do it exactly the way I did. Space it out a little bit more. That again is, is up to you. All right, so got those put in for now. And while you're doing this, if you ever get to the point where you just feel like you've got too much paint on your brush, just wipe it off with a paper towel. All right, next round brush is the number eight. I've gone ahead and loaded it with my thicket and then I tipped it into the moss. Okay, so what I'm doing here just pushing down just like I did with the flowers and I want to try to get more of a tip on the end I can come back over these if I need to but this is just a different way to do it I can even tip it into the white a little bit which will give it some more opaqueness put my little tip in there Come over here, push down, pull up. I was trying to do something a little different. You know, when you get painting, I'm going to be honest with you, the more you paint, the more you can end up painting like the same thing or the same style, even if you want it to look different. Sometimes it can be kind of hard to get out of your typical or your rut. I want to say. All right, so I can push down on this. Not like I've got a petal coming out of here, or a leaf, I should say. Not really a flower petal. And I picked up a little bit of that under color, which is fine, but I can go over it again just to maybe pull that out a little bit. And if you don't mind that you've got it on there, then you can just leave it. Not a biggie. Again, just use a paper towel if you need to wipe it off. 
and then you can do it again. Just push down and pull up. So you're just pushing down, pulling up. And they don't all have to be mixed with other other paint colors, but they can. And if you want it to stand out a little bit more, you can go back over it. Whoops. I have so much so much sitting around here, it's kind of hard not to run into something. And you can also do it where you go like on one side, and then maybe hit the other side, pull up, like that. Just a variety of way to, ways that you can be creative. That's a little light, so I can go like that. Maybe you want to tip in some white here. Very easy. So if you can push a brush down and pull it up, you're in good shape. And I would hope most of you can do that. I would think most of you could do that. Just pull it up here. I mean, if you want to paint the neck of your of your bottle, you certainly can. I'm not too focused on that at this point. Just move more focused on painting the leaves. And it can be even left dark like that. I just like to have a, a variety if I can. So then what I can do is come back to my little liner brush, or my number two, I keep calling it a liner brush. It's small like a liner brush. And then I can just, you know, basically, feel like I'm just kind of drawing the stems in. Pretty simple. And you don't even have to do this part if you don't want. But I kind of like to just to kind of make them look like they're attached. Just real lightly, light pressure, not real, not real heavy pressure. Just pull it in. If I feel like I need more paint, I can go in and dip in some color into the next one, or to another color, I should say. Pull it in, pull it in. The one thing nice about this too is if you you know drink anything that's in a glass bottle or even pickle jars, done a lot with those too. So easy. I mean, you're you've already paid for the product, and it's easy surface to learn on. Wax paper is a great surface to learn on. Just take advantage of that. All right, what I'm going to do now, I'm covering my entire. Your foot stippler with the burnt sienna and I'm just coming in here covering the whole center with the burnt sienna not even attempting to put another color on it at all you can but for my purpose here I'm just doing the burnt sienna and just tapping it in you can turn the brush around as you go if you want you can actually use a scruffy brush if you want, or the deer foot stepplers. I like them a lot. Good scruffy brush is, is good for centers too though. Try not to get this too big. Alright, then very simple center. I'm gonna take this, my little clay ball maker. I put the pale yellow on it, and I'm going to come in here, put a dot. Come in here, put a dot. They don't all have to be in the same direction. Sometimes it gives them more interest if they're not. If you feel like you, because it's wet on wet, that you only got part of a dot, just come in and just tap until you get more of a rounded. It doesn't have to be perfectly round. That's okay. Then I'm going to take my little 
dotting stylus. I'm going to take it, I'm going to put it into the burnt sienna. I'm going to come over here, do a dot around each one of these, or not around it, but at the bottom of each one of my little buds. You know, I can just tap it, make it bigger if I want it to be a bigger dot. Turn it around, and then I'm going to do little dots around it. Again, with anything that I do, if you don't like that part, then leave it out. You do not have to, if you're doing one of my designs, alter it, make it your own. That's what I'm encouraging you to do. If you feel like there's something that I do you don't like, then don't do it. Pure and simple, don't do it. My designs are just to give you an idea of what can be done, not what has to be done. And I think these are just cute little pieces to add to your design. Okay. Again, nothing real difficult by any means. Then I'm going to take my liner brush and I like to stick it in to my thicket and then I'll stick it into my forest moss and then I'm just going to pick areas to come in and just do like a twirly design. And I can come in here and just do a couple of lines beside each other, this wiggly. I like these. Now, again, if you're putting them on lightly, they can possibly be not be real durable because the paint's not that thick. However, I think a lot of times when you do this part, it gives it just a very kind of a finished look. Just a little something extra again with any of this stuff that I'm doing if you don't like it then don't add it on it's not a must it's just an idea and I'll just try to find in a few little places just to finish it off and I like to kind of rotate between the forest moss and the thicket uh, just to give it some variation there. If you want to add some in the center, you surely can. If you want to add a lot or add, add little, that's up to you. And I think we're done. Alright, so on this one I just painted it for now on the front. If you like this video, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And before you leave, don't forget to hit that share button underneath and share this video on your social network with all your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate it. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one.